Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly divine support reading for you. Okay, so you're going to notice even the header of this reading is different. You're going to realize going forward all the readings are different. Um, and it is going in line with the theme of the energy, right? I actually couldn't wait to do this reading, but I was so busy doing what the message actually is that, um, yeah, I didn't even have time to do the reading when I wanted to do it. What is the spirit message? I'll tell you first, and then we'll dive into the cards. But everything is about new, new, new. But it's not just about for the new, which has been a repeating message, but it's renew, uh, revamp, revive, like literally breathing new life into things. And you could find that you're really clearing out the old, the worn, the broken, like in your home, you could find that you're revamping, you're renewing things. You're literally by your actions, um, breathing new life into things. And it, they were showing it almost like a growth spurt. You know how we act like, see, this is you and you're going, and this is the past, this is the future. But picture you're going up instead. And as you're going up, things that you no longer need or use or you're and also from this perspective you can see what you clearly need or don't need it's so amazing what's happening here but you're gonna find that you're having real divine support to renew revive refresh that kind of thing and it could really be rippling out and also not to get so far ahead of yourself or think of it like um I have to. In the moment, you're just going to be almost inspired to do that. I found such amazing, you know how sometimes you have like, say, like your closet, you want to clean out your closet, your drawers, your house, and it seems like a chore or it's almost like overwhelming, but this kind of energy will help you actually like in five minutes clean something out five minutes to set that it's that kind of thing where it's, um, it, they're calling it almost like a growth spurt. It's almost like you know, in a flick of a switch, you're just, you're just reviving, renewing and all of this. And it's going to be so amazing. What it's almost like clearing out for the new, but it's you, your power is to renew, revive, refresh, revamp. I can't tell you how many times I've used the adjective revamp. It's like, you're going to want to revamp everything. It's like bringing everything up a notch. Um, and, and it's almost why they're talking about a growth spurt is when you grow up like a growth spurt, um, you want things that support you now at this octave, right? Not down here. And it's clearer and easier to get rid of the things that no longer support you here. Like say you were here. It's like, okay, well, that doesn't serve me or support me. It's much more clear up here. So it's just so amazing. You know, these are all analogies, but you're also going to find even on the little things, like even what I'm doing on the channel, things are going to be renamed. You're going to see like the readings are renamed. Everything, it just seems from top to bottom, you're going to want to revive things, revamp things, renew things. And this energy is so um, delicious, for lack of a better word. All right, so this is the overall weekly divine support for you. And that's what the readings are called now. It's divine support for you readings. And um, we're going to tap into all the messages. That was the messages. We're going to tap into all the decks here. Definitely pay attention to your own intuition besides what I say. What comes out can serve us now, feed us now, and later as life happens. Remember what comes out. I just find that's so amazing as well. There Sometimes it feeds me now, right? And then as life happens, something happens. And all, all of a sudden in my mind's eye, I get a message like you remember a card or you remember something from the reading and it is divine support for you then too. That's what I find so amazing. Um, whatever the length of this video is, I'll look up the angel number message. It'll be the first pinned comment on the video. It also came up whatever readings or any video you see. If you click more on the description box, you can always see what decks I'm using for that reading. Um, so there's always tons of information in the description box of every single video on the channel. Ever wonder what deck I'm using? Just click more on the description box. I always give credit to the decks. So that's for everything. Okay, so we're going to tap into the archangel power tarot for the journey we're going to tap into the energy we're dealing with we're going to tap into the goddess guidance we're going to tap into what to surrender to make things easier we're going to tap into messages from heaven loved ones passed on our spirit guides and end it with guardian angel messages but i'm telling you you're going to feel this energy is supporting you so much in renewing revamping um it's going to be up a notch and this is in the this weekly is 
you know, propelling us. It's the beginning of a month. And um, it's really going to, this energy is going to be so supportive, like all through the month, not just for the week. So I just want to say a lot of what I share is not just for the week, but it's kind of, we're getting it now so that we understand what we're dealing with and the support, the divine support that you have. And it can go far beyond the week. But let's get into it now. So just get ready to receive messages. Weekly divine support for you. Divine support for you. So that's the whole point. Love support backing. So let's get love support backing. Divine support for the week. What wants to come out? Okay, here we go. What are the messages for the journey? What do they want to bring forth to our attention at this time? Right here, take a final bow. I'm telling you, it's to go on from the past. So take a final bow of the past situations, things in your life. It is really a final bow. They're saying a situation has ended. You're finally free. These are new opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. And I'm telling you this energy of really taking a final bow. Like they said, instead of thinking of you're moving this way and that's the past and you're moving from it, think of almost you're rising up. Like take a final bow of those things. You're now going to greet the new, the new opportunities you're finally putting the past behind you at this time and it's all for the new i mean get ready for new opportunities for happiness and that is the energy there are new opportunities for happiness and it's just really incredible it's, it's almost like it's not a major arcana but they're telling you it's almost like a major arcana at this time and here is the page of Raphael that is now going to be delivering new things for you right? These are new, exciting situations. They're new emotional situations. These are actually, it's messages regarding relationships, social invitations, great intuitive insights. You're taking a final bow of the past and in comes the new. And I'm telling you, you're going to get a lot of new messages, new opportunities. You can get new insights on things. Just what they were saying is, the picture you're going up like this, the new insights that you're getting to apply to your life when it comes to increasing your happiness or also opportunities that are coming in that are just increasing your level of happiness. Um, so this is, Paige is always like the deliverer of the new and that is the best way. So when they said literally there are new opportunities for happiness, they could be delivered to you with great insight, aha moments, ideas, things to apply in your life, right? That will help you. To, to actually expand upon that and then also from the outside in you're going to be getting a lot of things that are going to be new, new invitations for new things whether it's social invitations new things to work on new, new things to, uh, to to do um but this is all about these are positive new situations invitations new coming in um so no doubt it is a time to take a final bow of the past and and welcome in the new that's coming in and so, yeah, again, Nine of Raphael, and that is what you're going to be moving on. So no doubt it's a final bow of the old, the same old, same old situations. They're ending. You're free. Greet the new and get a move on them. It reads like a sentence. So whatever's coming in on the outside in, like new invitations, new things coming in for you to get to move on, or even the insights that you're getting from the angels and your loved ones passed on or divine, you're getting a move on that. You are aligned to your heart and moving forward on the things that are increasing your happiness and are increasing, you know, it's that momentum. And you're going to be riding this horse well past the week. I'm just telling you, because this final bow is like grand. And this has come out before in readings. It's like grand. And then you're really getting a move on. See the illumination? It's like with oomph. With, um, with extra backing. This is committed romantic relationships. This is being swept off your feet. These are situations or topics that make your heart flutter. You're following your heart. You're increasing your happiness. You're saying, you're, you're charging in for the new. You're moving on these new opportunities, new things to do, new invites, new projects, new, 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 new. So it's definitely a final bow of the past and they're saying you're getting a move on. This is very much aligned to your heart. This is like new emotional uplifting things that you're getting. It's like new life you're moving on and things that are going to increase your happiness in some way. They're going to be situations and things that you're doing that are actually like moving your heart 
<laughs> moving you in your heart. Um, yeah, and this is all for those new wonderful things. So that's what's coming in and that's what you're getting a move on. And let's talk about the energy that we're dealing with now. But this is just, yes, I think I saw it. I mean, this is really moving on those things from your heart space. And yes, it's going to your 11. Look at that. That flipped over 11. And that is such a magical master number. You're following your heart right to your corneocopia, right to your abundance. And it's like you're getting a move on those things. And yes, I knew the woman holding a heart. This is all about you and your heart space. Third chakra, Archangel, they are, they are propelling you they're giving you the power at this time literally to move from your heart space these are the building blocks four four are the building blocks 11 this is master number i mean make no doubt about it i wish sometimes i wish i was an octopus with more than two hands so i can show you how it reads like a sentence but this is like grand finales of the past this is really giving you the this is the divine power that they're really giving you to move on your heart space at this time for the new for the new, new, new. And it is all aligned to your heart. See the woman holding her heart here? It knows the way right to your corneocopia, right to your happiness. So that's what you're getting a move on. Now this a 10 of um, Michael, the grand finale bows. I mean, I'm telling you, it could be a clean up, clear out situation. It's 11-11 on the video. So that you are quite frankly following your heart at this time and riding it and moving on those things that are actually going all the way to your corneocopia, quote unquote corneocopia. So that, that is greater happiness greater abundance they're firing you up for this um so the process of this is what i'm talking about at this time the clean up clear out revamp renew um and it's saying yes to those things that are really aligned to your heart and it's leading you right to your cornucopia more happiness more abundance and everything else and this is like the energy that is almost like your love support backing see how he's moving on the horse like see the illumination it's like the momentum, this is going far past the week because this is charging through like the trees to your cornucopia. So what you're getting to move on now, aligned to your heart, powered up like this. I mean, it reads like a sentence in every which way is leading to more happiness. Absolutely. So say goodbye to the past. Say, these are finally, 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 you're getting to move on things that are actually increasing your happiness and your abundance. And, but this card, they're, they're telling me, this is like a process. It's not like in a second, you're taking a bow. It's like the work that it takes to, you know, actually move forward on those things that are really providing more happiness. You're getting a lot of, besides you're moving on the outside, things on the inside you're getting great insight about that and it's so beautiful because you are fired up surrender that frustration yeah surrender the frustration you're getting and the number one thing uh, like it could have been in the past frustrating but they're saying frustration does not open any doors the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly this is a time it's almost take a final bow on that because they're having you, you, there could have been frustration in the past. There are doors that are opening. They want you to ride it all the way through. And remember what you're aligned to, that these doors are opening to your corneocopia here. You, all you have to do is take a breath, center yourself, regroup, and just approach the situation more calmly. Kind of know in your heart here that the moves that you're making are leading to your cornucopia. In the past, there could have been frustration. There's no need to be frustration. I think they're actually having you take a final bow on the frustration because you're kind of more aligned to your heart at this time moving forward. They're saying you don't even have to be frustrated. Um, you're aligned with them. You're making the moves here aligned to your heart and it's leading right to your cornucopia. Surrender to prayer. So let go of the frustration. When they said center yourself, regroup, breathe, center yourself, Know what you're connected to. You align yourself. That is a prayer. Like you're realigning yourself. There's something about trusting as you're making the moves here. Frustration is released and you're surrendering back to prayer. So he stays upright, steady, balanced, riding this um, the whole way. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, this is heart. You will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. So whenever you're so-called frustrated along the way, people are affecting your movement or affecting your mind and heart, 
they are saying surrender the frustration it doesn't open any doors the key is to almost center yourself and remember what you're connected to you give yourself over completely when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive you are not doing any of this alone they're keeping you just like this i mean answering those opportunities getting a move on on those opportunities and moving on them and it's leading right to your corneocopia it's almost like holding that in your heart with what you're doing now uh going forward there's no need to be frustrated almost not like when the if you as you're making your moves in the physical if you feel frustrated or a lower vibration energy all you have to do is stop center realign prayer no you're not your remember it's almost like reminding yourself you're 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 not doing this alone you're actually heard throughout the universe support will arrive support will arrive how powerful is that right they're supporting your moves to your abundance making these moves i mean if you have to sum it up stay powered up i mean this right they're bringing this in the divine you're saying goodbye to the past they're bringing in the opportunities i'm just going to sum it up they're bringing the, the divine is bringing in those opportunities so on the outside you're having opportunities to move on for greater happiness and abundance and on the inside they're giving you great insight to get a move on that's keeping you powered up getting a move on for your more greater happiness and abundance aligned to your heart so it's and whenever you get knocked off that they're telling you to release the frustration or anxiety or anything just stop center balance realign to prayer know that you're heard and support will arrive so they're supporting you as you're doing the moves they're supporting you as you're doing the moves so but know that in your heart i mean that's what they're saying know that in your heart that they're supporting your moves i'm putting the moves right here because um you're gonna have to feel that support as you're writing this and i think that's also the illumination as you're making the moves here as you're getting a move on not just in this week but all through as you're making the moves aligned to your heart for greater happiness and abundance that you're heard and support is arriving for you as you do it so let's get the messages from heaven for the week and no doubt again it's ending with a night and everything in this month is a night like you're going to be writing this aligned more aligned to your heart more for the new um because it's the new things that you're moving on that is adding to your happiness and abundance and so that's why they're keeping you um you know really fired up for that and almost divine balance a divine core my core like looking at this card it's like you're you're supported you're supported to uh, make those moves um and they're keeping you in greater instead of actually fluctuating or slowing down on this horse or stopping the movement because you are frustrated it's almost like it's up a notch so that you're more balanced riding this um they're supporting you to make the moves yeah the help exactly they said seek professional help if you need to all will be well they're assuring everything is going to be well but this is landing right on here i'm telling you they're giving you the help as in the power the stamina not being frustrated you're making those moves yes exactly so they're telling you you have the help you have the help love support backing in the physical love support backing from them um they're giving you that extra so that you do not worry we will bring helpful people into your life so know that as you're writing this they want you to know that the moves that you're making, you're not doing alone, first of all. That's what they said. Support will arrive. As you're making the moves to increase your happiness abundance, do not even worry because as you make the moves, you have divine support. They're bringing helpful people into your life that will help you because it's almost like divine is you are to make these moves. So um, you're getting a lot of divine support, which you might not even notice, but they're giving it to you on the inside so that you're making the moves, right? And then along the way, you're going to have divine support in the physical that's going to keep you moving in that direction as well. How divine is that? Do you hear the honks? The alarm, practically. They're bringing you helpful people. They're bringing you helpful people. Okay, we're going to end it with guardian angel messages. But they're definitely, they're giving you divine help and also helpful people in the physical. So do not worry and do not be frustrated. You keep making your moves aligned to your heart. It's going right to your greater abundance and uh, more happiness. This is all about new, 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 like new levels to your happiness, new levels to your abundance, saying the goodbye to the past situations and making the moves for the new. Oh my gosh, there's so much uh, guardian angel messages. Positive change, star 
action. You can't make this up. Yeah, I mean, they are divinely supporting you because it's you that is like bringing the positive change. It is you that is the star illuminated here. It is you doing the action steps and it's from the heart space. They're powering you up. Like you see the power you're illuminated here well, from your heart space. And it's, it's leading to more abundance and um, happiness. And you're going to find you get a lot of divine support directly with a lot of insights and things coming in for you to make the moves on that are going to increase that. They're also giving you, don't worry, you're going to have a lot of helpful people around you that keep you in this momentum. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let me show this positive change dare to be different remember we got in the monthly be nobody but yourself i'm telling you this is this card it's like everybody has to stand up and be fully themselves um and unique their unique talents um abilities everything else has been a repeating message and that is the divine it's um I can't even explain it, but my core is tightening that there it's going to be up a notch because it's you making the moves. It's you actually doing it. So they're telling you dare to be different when you are criticized. And this came up in the other reading about the inner outer critics. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or even understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. So they, you are being propelled forward to do these moves, divinely being propelled. And I'm telling you, it's, it's like inside and out um, because they're telling you to be nobody but yourself, dare to be different, forget the criticism because you're never going to please everybody. And many brilliant and gifted individuals were never fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it's they who sowed the seeds of change. And look at this cornucopia, more abundance and happiness. Star. Believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let, going, let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. Love illuminates all things and never forget you are truly a shining star in action. Drop all fear and just do it. This is what they are propelling you. Those moves, ride that horse all the way through aligned to your heart. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. So look inside your heart. This is the night of Raphael. We had the woman holding a heart. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your goals. Here's your cornucopia, right? Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. So that is what they're telling you. Goodbye to the past. Grand finale bow. Move forward. Grab the new insights and the new opportunities right that are coming in and make those moves it's time for action for these new things and you are a shining star they're going to actually feed you that divine energy to be nobody but yourself to go forward positive change to do it literally and remember you will not please everyone i mean when you're criticized they're saying dare to be different when you're criticized remember that it will you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals who are not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. It's only often they who sowed those seeds of change. They are fully illuminating you. I can also put into words the great insights. I mean, besides the new opportunities that they're bringing in, this is the summation for you to actually get a move on and do. Um, but you're getting great insight. You're They're pumping you up on the inside so that you actually do do the moves. Do do the moves. You see what I mean? So that's this card here. And that's why this card, I just so noticed on this card is how illuminated he is. So they're really keeping you aligned for this. So stay aligned to your heart. This is all supporting your action for positive changes in your life. Drop the uh, frustration because you have divine support. And they're also bringing in helpful people. You don't even have to worry about it. Whenever you sink into like you feel yourself lower they're like just stop center align because you're heard support will come um so they are definitely keeping you on this horse and riding it way beyond this week um and this is just absolutely gorgeous divine support for you just like the new header that they made me put in there this is weekly divine support for you keep going keep going keep going i wish you the best take care bye-bye